So the story you tell yourself about a thing that happened to you has a great impact of what that thing can be for you. So that's what I've been building with right now with Africa and Us, the idea of inspiring stories of representation. We're representing people that go through the same barriers that we go through so we can become a bridge for conversation and change. Because as you let your light shine, you liberate others to do the same. So it's almost like you need that one person to step out and say, here is all of me with all of my flaws. That's courage. And courage is not the elimination of fear. It's the embracing of fear and being able to do it in the midst of it. So there's not one courageous person that is without fear. Family, we are here at Concordia University. I just got some friends that want to say hi. And I think so many times in society and life today, they want to put you in a box. You're black, you're white. You're red, you're blue. You're Ethiopian or Eritrean, or you're American. If we go by that line of thinking, that's a very reductionist approach to a complex society that we live in today. Now, and what I've begun to understand is that we are all complex as people. There are so many layers that make us who we are, culturally, geographically, ethnically, our, our experiences, everything attributes to make up the, the makeup of who you are as an individual. So for us to be able to say that this is either that or this, it's a reductionist approach and it minimizes who you are as a human being and the potential that you have in your life. So I started to understand that though we're complex as people, there's beauty within our complexities. And there's not just beauty, there's value in it too. So there's this double consciousness and identity that you're dealing with internally and you don't know how to make sense of it. It leads to insecurity, it leads to inferiority. So all my life grew up with that, but then I started understanding that from a cultural standpoint, I used to never feel Ethiopian or rich enough and American enough, but now I feel like I am enough, I feel accepted. So now what was once my imprisonment has become my empowerment. I'm able to go to Ethiopia and contribute as an American and as an Ethiopian. I could be an American and contribute as an American and as an Ethiopian and a rich man. So my story has changed and I understand my value, my belonging is not tied to a location, geographic <laughs> territory, culture, country. It's tied to acceptance. Me knowing I'm accepted by God, me knowing that, I'm ex that everything in my life is accepted as it is, and there's value to it. There's value to the strengths and your weaknesses. There's value to your failures, your flaws, your mistakes. Everything has value. Everything. Because you, you, it's, the way, it's the story you tell yourself about it. So every story does matter. In general. Okay, but you need to know that your story as an individual and everything you're facing as a student right now does matter. Your, your journey matters just as much as the destination. I want to give a big shout out to everybody at Concordia University, Texas. Thank you all for having me kick off the Life and Leadership Lecture Series. Uh, it was such a great time sharing my journey as a filmmaker with all of you. And I'm expecting nothing but great things from each and every one of you guys. So keep doing your thing. Until next time.